how's how are you in the moving in process? Uh, we are. Um, it's been a long process for us, um, but it's been good. It's been good. We just, you know, uh, want to do it as organized as we can. So I'm trying to just get rid of a lot of things that I have at the other property that I don't use. I just want to bring whatever is useful to this house and just leave the other stuff behind. Well, that's definitely one of the benefits of moving. It, you, it forces you to declutter and get rid of a bunch of stuff you probably yes. don't need otherwise. So um, uh, excellent. All right. Well, um, so when you were considering this, like, why did you choose to build custom and in, in what was most important to you in that decision? Okay. Um, when we started looking, we looked at uh, different companies, but one of the things that I really liked about Schumacher Homes was that um, the architect was actually added. So I didn't have to hire an architect. Uh, it was just a very easy process. Okay, go in and look at the um, plan that you like and you can make customizations as you want. And it was pretty much straightforward and easy, you know? So we actually, before the um, pre-construction meeting, we actually changed our plan like maybe like three or four times. Mm -hmm. So it was, you guys were very flexible. So we love that. And where did you get, like, when you say you changed your plan and you kept, like, I'm assuming you refined it to get it exactly how you want, how you wanted it. Where did you get the inspiration to figure out exactly how you wanted it? Was it from looking at model homes? Was it looking, doing research online? Like, how did you come to that final plan? Okay. So I actually saw I'm not I am not 100% whether it was Facebook, but I did see something online when I actually I was searching for builders and um, I actually went to the office in Charleston because you guys were not here yet in Bluffton. So I went over there and I talked to them and I was actually looking at a completely different model, which was the uh, Maplewood. And then um all of a sudden you guys open the office here in Hilton Head um uh, and I was like okay great I saw the Bluffton Coastal model and we were like we were in love with it right away yeah it, interesting yeah there's nothing like walking through and seeing the real product you know it's nice to look at stuff online it's nice to you know it's nice to look at floor plans but it, it really doesn't tell you, you know, how big the house lives and how tall the ceilings are and how the windows are oriented. So it is really nice when you can walk through and see a finished product for sure. Exactly. Um, so when you started out, what were some of the most important things to you that you wanted to have in your new home, like feature wise? Um, well, when you say features, you're, you're saying, um, useful features or more like look I, i'm thinking you know was it maybe were they floor plan things like how things laid out were they finishes like in your say in your kitchen or flooring or architectural details like you wanted a open floor plan or high ceilings or mm -hmm. outdoor living spaces or any you know those type of things yeah we actually wanted, when we looked at the uh, Bluffton Coastal, we fell in love with it. So we wanted the property just like the Bluffton Coastal, but with the um, the beams in a different color and a different pattern. And I had seen some of your models that had different beam um, uh, designs. And I fell in love with that because I had uh, another property that had beams on it and that was one of the things that I missed. So that was a big thing for me. And I did all the window too. Oh, yes. My yeah. husband, yeah. Um, he wanted the... A um, lot of windows. Yeah, a lot of windows. And you wanted the the, um, the uh, two color windows, which was a black and white on the inside. And black outside. Yeah. So there were a lot of things that made the model unique. And that's what we wanted to... To do, we wanted, you know, um, I don't know exactly how 
um, the ceiling on the porch, what that is called, but it's made of wood and it has a, it's a stained yeah. and it's beautiful. It's different. It does, that's, that's, that's a detail that is very popular in Argentina. And my husband is from Argentina. Yeah. So we love that detail and we were like, we want that as soon as we saw it. Like I always cool. Yeah. yeah yes. you, you have a great outdoor living space. I mean, that, especially in, I mean, you're lucky in Hilton Head, you can, you can use that, you know, year round, which is, which is really nice. Yeah. Yes. Um, Oscar is actually planning on bringing a horse out here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell me, why did you choose Schumacher Homes? Um, I feel that they were very flexible. Schmacher Home was very flexible. Um, the, I love, like I said, the um, the uh, floor plan. I felt that as far as price point goes, it was very, um, the price point was really good. The um, When we signed up, we signed up with that 4.87, which is very, um, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's out of this world because nowadays people are paying really, really high interest rates to get their property. And we were like, okay, well, this is, this is a go. This is a no brainer. Um, and, and so you're, you haven't moved in yet or you're, you're close, right? Yes. We actually have quite a few things in here already, but we just have to move the bedrooms and the big stuff, the dining room. Yeah. So, so let me ask you, like, what was the feeling when you first walked into your new home? Uh, I feel like we had a, a sense of accomplishment, um, pride, because you go like, oh, you know what? Um, I, you know, there's touches in here that I asked for. And, uh, and this is a house that was built with my taste, you know? So I feel that it's pride and, and, you know, we accomplished this. Yeah, it is. There's nothing like seeing, you know, from being there day one or actually day one through thinking about it and have it in your head to, you know, seeing it every day during, did you go out, were you on the job site a lot during construction? Yes. Yes. Um, my husband was here pretty much every day. Well, that that's the best it really is because you can see everything and it, it makes it you know it makes it even more yours when you see like every little uh uh bit of progress so, makes it that much more special yeah. exactly um, exactly do, do you do you have a favorite room in the house i love the uh, master bathroom yeah i love the master closet um we got that deluxe in there um and i love it it's, it's spacious it's it's modern. It's beautiful. Nice, nice. And and once you get all moved in and settled in, do you have like a planned celebration or a first event you're going to do in your home? Um, I, Oscar's planning to get some friends coming over, and yeah, yes. I I I love what you did on the landscaping too. I I, I love that center island with your uh, statuary right in the middle. That was did was that. Did you do all the land? Obviously, the landscaping design. Yeah, I did everything. Yeah, yeah that's Thank really you. sharp. Thank you. Uh, yeah. How about um, let's see. Is there anything? Is there anything that you would change that said that that you found so far? Anything you would do differently? Well, we actually switched the plan a couple of times. And we were thinking about building the over the uh, garage um, guest house, and we ended up not doing that. So we are actually, we yeah. we feel bad that we didn't actually go with that. Because then I asked Will and I said, you know, I know we're done with construction, but would you <laughs> build, a, would you um, build for us a um, guest house? on the side over here and he said we're too busy and i was like oh gosh i said <laughs> and then the electrician said you know there's 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 associated uh cost with just putting another uh, meter you know because it would be a, a different structure you know so i was like oh darn it we actually um didn't go at the right time with that uh over the garage guest house and we should have that that's interesting um yes let me ask you this. It, it it's it's different for every single person but how how did you find your lot 
Like, tell us about that process. Um, we actually had another property here at the plantation, and um, we actually had just closed, right? Yeah. Yeah, we had closed on the other property, and then I told the president of the HOA, I said, um, his name is Fred, I said, Fred, if you do happen to know of any lots, because we had just moved from another property that had a lot of land, and the one that we bought here um, had almost one acre, and we were like, um, we want more land. And he said, well, Michelle, there's uh, a lot that just hit the market here in the plantation, and it has 3.22 acres. And I was like, okay, let me talk to Oscar, and I did. And then Oscar was like, okay, let's go see it. And we went, we came to see it. And right then and there, Oscar put the offer. We, we didn't even leave the lot. He was like, I want this. That's, that's really interesting. That's good. When you, and especially in today's market, when you find it and you know, it's not always easy, it takes some time, but when you do it, that's good. You got to act on it quickly. Cause um, yeah. yeah, when you find it, honestly, that's some of the toughest part of building is we, we can basically do anything you want in the design, but it's the, where am I going to put it is, you know, is, is a, usually it takes a little bit of effort, but uh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, how about, um, is there anything, a, any advice you'd give to someone who's considering building now that you've been through this, you've been through the journey um, that you would like to share with someone? Well, I feel that um, the advice should be like, uh, be financially ready, but don't be scared. Don't be scared. Um, I feel that sometimes, you know, at the beginning of the process, we were kind of scared about the numbers, um, but uh, we were financially ready and we went for it. And I think it's, it's the best decision we made. Um, I know construction is a very long process. It could be scary, um, but just go for it because at the end of the road, you're going to be satisfied because you got exactly what you wanted. Yeah. Um, yeah. And how was, how was working with the team throughout from start to finish? Can you maybe share some thoughts on that? Yes. I mean, uh, from the beginning, everybody was great. Linda was great. Um, uh, we also had Eric at the beginning. He was really good as well. Uh, we had Tom as well. He, Tom, to be honest, because uh, we are very meticulous, um, Tom has bent over backwards to make us, you know, satisfied. So he has done a great job making sure that we're happy. And um, I mean, it was, it's been a smooth process. So, yeah. Oh, good. That's great to hear. Um, anything else, anything else we want to talk about or uh, that we haven't covered. I mean, this was great. I mean, this was really super helpful to get your perspective and your thoughts. I really appreciate it. Yes. No, I just feel that um, some people get scared about building, but they shouldn't, you know, um, it, it it's a process that, you know, might have its ups and down, but at the end of the day, you'll be exactly, you know, you'll be satisfied. You'll be happy with, it's what you wanted so yeah never have any surprise in the end yes a lot of people they surprise about the price everything you know they say it's oh, yes. like that in the end they, they say okay that's happened because you know they had to you know pay for this 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 no surprise nothing that's good yeah but um I'm sorry, you may go ahead. No, I was going to say, though, that I think that's so important. And I think the reason it's like that is we put so much emphasis on everything up front, addressing all those questions. So then there aren't any surprises, you know. So you're, if you're the more prepared you are up front, that it just makes the whole building process that much better um, throughout. Yes, I feel like the, the safety nets that are in place are very good. Um, there was very good communication with Will and Tom whenever there was a problem. Um, for instance, we had a, this lot is very far away from the road. So we had to install some pump that was not in the plan. So 
Um, they did everything that they could to stay within budget and they did. So that was really good. Those safety nets are there in place and they work. Great. Well, yeah. again, I, I thank you so much for spending the time. I'm glad we got to um, talk and go through your experience. And if you think anything else, or if you need anything, you know, we're always here. So um, I'm sure after you move in, you know, little things will come up, just let us know and we'll come out and take care of it for you. And, um, and thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We're very happy. We're satisfied. And this is, this is our dream home. So yeah. oh, that's great. All right. Thank you so much and have a great night and we'll talk soon. You thank as you. well. Thank you. thank you. All right. All right. See you guys. Bye-bye.